So we're back. I wanted to answer Parker's question real quick about oblong flight plans. I'm going to show you real quick how to create one. I was actually already in the process before we got cut off there, so I already named my plan. I'm going to click my add area button. And what I can do is actually add points anywhere I'd like. So, oh, hold on, let me undo. I added one I didn't want. One more. Okay, now I can add my points anywhere I'd like. So if you have a oblong pattern, you can do it with this. Obviously, this is for a demonstration. I'm kind of adding them all over the place, but there we go. You can add as many points as you'd like. You can also add obstacles within the plan. And you can add multiple obstacles too. And there you go. After you create your uh, points, you can click the create button and it'll generate your flight plan. Here you can actually modify the swath. So you can make it narrower or wider as needed. You can also modify the obstacle gap. So how far away uh, your plan is around your obstacle. So you can increase that. You can also increase your target gap, which is the distance from your perimeter. So you can make it smaller or larger. And that's it, you can click save. And from here, you can send your mission to the drone. Um, we are gonna be releasing a video that goes in depth into the software, showing you all the features soon. Look out for that coming up soon. But Parker, I did wanna answer your question. I know we got cut off. That's how you create an oblong flight pattern.